Imagine a small village, and in it, a boy named Tim. A boy with dreams bigger than his pockets. Tim's story is not an easy one. Born into poverty, his life was a constant struggle. But he was not a boy to be defeated easily. His spirit was as bright as the morning sun, illuminating the path of his dreams despite the darkness of his circumstances. Tim was a boy of many hats, not out of choice but necessity. From sweeping the streets to selling newspapers, from picking fruits in the orchards to delivering groceries, Tim did them all. His daily life was a medley of odd jobs, each one a step towards earning his bread and butter, and a ticket to the school he so eagerly attended. But don't mistake his hardship for despair. For Tim, every pebble on his path was a stepping stone, every challenge a lesson. He was a boy of dreams, of ambition. His eyes sparkled with the hope of a better life. A life where he could swap his worn-out shoes for a pair of polished loafers, his makeshift bed for a comfortable mattress, his hunger for a full stomach. His dreams were not extravagant, they were simple, yet profound. A dream of having a table full of food, a dream of owning a set of new books, a dream of not having to worry about tomorrow. But more than anything, it was a dream of breaking free from the chains of poverty that had bound him and his family for generations. Tim's determination was like a flame, flickering but never extinguishing, always ready to ignite into a fire, a fire that could burn away the shackles of his impoverished existence. And it was this determination that pushed him to work, to strive, to dream, despite the odds stacked against him. But that day after school, Tim found himself penniless, hungry, and with no job till nightfall. As he walked through the village, a simple glass of milk caught his eye. The sight of the milk, pure and white, stirred a deep longing within him. His stomach growled in response, a reminder of the gnawing hunger he had been trying to ignore. The glass of milk seemed like a beacon of hope, a promise of satiation that his body craved. Tim's heart pounded in his chest as he stood there, contemplating his next move. The pangs of hunger were insistent, yet he was penniless, with no job until the night. He could have easily succumbed to despair, but instead, he made a choice. A choice to hold on to his dignity, to not let his circumstances define him. He remembered the store owner, Mr. Johnson, whom he had seen earlier that day. A plan started to form in his mind. He would ask Mr. Johnson for the glass of milk. It was a risk, but Tim was no stranger to taking chances. His hard life had taught him that sometimes you need to take a leap of faith. With a determined stride, Tim made his way back to the store. His heart was pounding, but his resolve was stronger. He approached Mr. Johnson with respect and humility, his voice steady as he asked for the glass of milk. Mr. Johnson looked at the young boy standing before him. He could see the hunger in his eyes, the determination in his stance. He was moved by Tim's courage and grit. Here was a young boy, faced with adversity, yet refusing to give up. Touched by Tim's courage, Mr. De Johnson gave him the glass of milk an act of kindness that filled Tim's heart with gratitude. As Tim held the glass, he felt a warmth spread through him. It was more than just the satisfaction of his hunger. It was the realization that even in the bleakest of times, kindness could shine through. This glass of milk was not just a drink. It was a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of compassion and humanity. And for Tim, it was the beginning of a journey, a journey that would change his life forever. Filled with gratitude, Tim thought about how he could pay this kindness forward. After all, Mr. Johnson's act of generosity had given him more than just a glass of milk. It had given him hope. He realized that he could transform his gratitude into action, and so he decided to help his neighbors in any way he could. Tim took on odd jobs, mowing lawns, painting fences, and helping with household chores. His actions were not driven by the prospect of earning money, but by the desire to spread kindness. He worked tirelessly, and at the end of each day, instead of asking for money, he accepted whatever his neighbors could offer, be it food, clothes, or simply a heartfelt thank you. News of Tim's goodwill spread throughout the village like a summer breeze. His actions sparked a chain reaction, setting the foundation for a community built on sharing and caring. His neighbors, inspired by his selflessness, started helping each other, turning the village into a beacon of hope. Every day, Tim saw the impact of his actions. He saw neighbors, who once barely acknowledged each other, now sharing meals, lending a hand, caring for each other. 
He saw smiles where there were once frowns, laughter where there was once silence. He saw a community brought together by the simple act of kindness. And as he lay in bed each night, tired but content, he thought about that glass of milk. It was more than just a drink. It was a spark that ignited a chain of kindness. It was a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of compassion. It was a reminder that even the smallest act of generosity can create ripples of change. Through his actions, Tim showed his village, and indeed the world, that giving doesn't always mean material things. Sometimes it's about giving your time, your effort, your kindness. It's about making a difference, no matter how small, in someone else's life. And so, as each day passed, Tim continued his mission, spreading kindness, nurturing his community, and paying it forward, one act at a time. He realized that a glass of milk was not just nourishment, but a symbol of hope and kindness. But life was not a bed of roses for Tim. As the sun set on the humble village, Tim's challenges rose like mountains, casting long shadows on his path. Poverty was a relentless foe, gnawing at his spirit, yet Tim's resilience was unyielding. There were days when the grumbling in his stomach echoed louder than the village church bells. Jobs were scarce, and his pockets often echoed the emptiness of his belly. The cruel irony was that the harder he worked, the hungrier he became. But just like a candle burning brightest against the dark, Tim's determination only grew stronger. He knew the worth of every crumb, every drop of water, every single coin he earned. Each was a testament to his survival, a badge of his endurance. Amidst these hardships, Tim's heart remained as generous as ever. He understood that pain shared was pain halved. Even when his own plate was empty, he never hesitated to help his neighbors. He mended fences, fetched water, tended to the livestock, and did whatever was needed. His actions were a beacon of hope in a world often clouded by despair. He was the living embodiment of the adage, give, even when you have little. His life was a ceaseless battle against adversity. Yet in the face of these hardships, Tim's spirit never wavered. His strength was not in his muscles, but in his heart, in his unwavering determination to rise above his circumstances. His resilience was his shield, and his kindness his sword. He fought not just for himself, but for his community, proving that the power of unity can conquer even the most formidable challenges. But the wheel of fortune is unpredictable, turning at its own whims. The village was soon to receive a visitor, a stranger whose arrival would change everything. A wealthy man from the city, drawn by tales of the village's spirit of sharing and caring, was about to set foot in their midst. Even in his darkest hours, Tim never gave up, proving that resilience and kindness can withstand the toughest of times. His story is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can rise, we can thrive, and we can change the world around us. One day, a wealthy man from the city arrived in the village. He was a man of means, with a sharp eye for potential and a heart that understood the value of hard work and community. As he walked through the narrow lanes, he observed the villagers going about their daily routines. He saw the unity among them, the spirit of cooperation that made their small community thrive even in the face of hardship. The wealthy man marveled at the camaraderie he witnessed, the genuine care they showed for one another. It was a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of the city he came from, where everyone was always in a hurry, often too busy to lend a hand or share a smile. The village was a breath of fresh air, a testament to the power of unity and the strength of a community. But what truly caught his eye was a young man, working diligently, helping his neighbors with a smile on his face. It was Tim, the boy who once yearned for a glass of milk, now a beacon of hope and kindness in his village. Seeing Tim's resilience and determination, the wealthy man was moved. Inspired by the spirit of the village and the determination of Tim, the wealthy man made a decision. He decided to invest in the village. He saw potential in the hardworking villagers, and he wanted to give them opportunities they never had. He wanted to create jobs, to provide them with a means to better their lives, to give them a chance to dream bigger. And so, the village saw a wave of change. New jobs were created, opportunities arose, and the villagers, with their hard work and determination, seized them with both hands. Among these villagers was Tim. The boy who once longed for a glass of milk was now on the forefront of this wave of change. 
Tim was one of the first to be employed, a testament to his hard work and determination. His journey from a hungry boy to a thriving young man was a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of kindness and a reminder that sometimes a small act of generosity can change a life forever. Over time, Tim rose to become the manager of the new company. His journey, which began with a simple act of kindness, had brought him to a place of leadership and influence. From a hungry young boy to a respected manager, his life had been a testament to resilience, determination, and the power of compassion. Every day, Tim walked into his office with a sense of pride, not just for his position, but for the journey that led him there. His office was not just a room with a desk and chair, but a symbol of his hard-earned success. His accomplishments were not merely a result of his hard work, but also the kindness he had experienced and the kindness he had shared. His gratitude for the glass of milk that had once quenched his hunger ran deep. It was more than just a memory of a refreshing drink. It was a reminder of the turning point in his life. That glass of milk was not just a source of nourishment, but a symbol of hope, a beacon that had guided him through his toughest times. As he navigated his way through through the complex world of management, he carried with him the lessons he had learned from that one glass of milk. It taught him the importance of kindness, the power of giving, and the impact one small act could have on a person's life. These lessons shaped his management style, driving him to lead with empathy, understanding, and respect for his employees. Tim was not just a manager, he was a leader. He was a beacon of hope for his employees, just as Mr. Johnson had been for him. His success was not just his own, but a testament to the power of kindness and the strength of community. Yet despite his achievements, Tim remained humble. He did not allow his success to overshadow the values that brought him there. Instead, he used his position to further spread the spirit of sharing and caring within his community. His journey from a struggling boy to a successful manager was not just his story, but the story of his entire village. He never forgot Mr. Johnson's kindness, a lesson that shaped his life and transformed his entire village. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on Tim's journey. Picture a boy, a simple glass of milk, and a moment of kindness. It may seem like a small thing, but it set the stage for a transformation. It was the first domino in a chain of events that changed not just Tim's life, but the lives of an entire community. Tim's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and kindness. Despite his circumstances, he never lost his spirit or his resolve. His life was a testament to the idea that no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Tim's journey reminds us that we are all capable of making a difference, no matter how big or small our actions may seem. A simple glass of milk was more than just a source of nourishment for Tim. It was a symbol of hope, a beacon of kindness in a world that can often seem harsh and unforgiving. This story is not just about the glass of milk, but about the ripples it created. Tim took that act of kindness and paid it forward, transforming his community through his actions. He turned his life around, and in the process he changed the lives of those around him. Tim's story is a powerful reminder that we all have the ability to create change. We all have the power to make a difference. We all have the power to inspire others and to create a ripple effect of kindness and resilience. Just like Tim, we have the power to make a difference in our own lives and in the lives of others. We have the power to create a ripple effect that can change the world. So let's reflect on Tim's journey and think about how we can apply these lessons in our own lives. How can we make a difference? How can we create our own ripple effect of kindness and resilience? Remember, like Tim, we all have the power to create ripples of kindness and resilience that can transform not just our lives, but the lives of those around us.